The fireworks on New Year's Eve were spectacular. Wow, look at those fireworks. They're so bright and colorful. The fireworks on New Year's Eve were spectacular. I know, right? It's like a light show in the sky. The big red one looked like a giant flower. And the green ones were like little aliens. Do you think they planned the colors? Probably. It's also well-coordinated. Imagine setting all these fireworks up. Must be a lot of work, but it's worth it. It's getting chilly. Want my scarf? Thanks, Alex. You're always so thoughtful. Anything for you, Emma. It's a perfect way to start the new year. Absolutely. Do you have any resolutions? To enjoy moments like this more often. That's a great resolution. Let's make it happen. I'm looking forward to it. Happy New Year, Alex. Happy New Year, Emma. I'm glad we're here together. It's the best part of the night. With you, every part is the best part. That's a lovely idea. I'm thinking of doing something special this weekend. Oh, like what? Something for my family. Maybe a family dinner. That's a lovely idea. Who will cook? I was thinking I would cook. Really? Remember the last time you cooked? Okay. Maybe we should order it. That sounds better. What about decorations? I'll get some balloons and flowers. Balloons? For a family dinner? Why not? It'll be festive. Okay, Mr. Festive. What about music? I could make a playlist of everyone's favorite songs. Be careful with your sister's choices. Right. No heavy metal this time. And then, I'd like to make a toast to everyone. And not spill the drink this time? I'll try my best. I hope my family enjoys it. They will, as long as you don't cook. <gasps> Very funny, haha. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Have you seen the new guy at work? Yeah, he's quite interesting. I heard he used to be a circus performer. Really? That explains the juggling at lunch. And his fashion sense is out of this world. You mean the sparkly shoes and hat? Exactly. It's like a show every day, if you know what I mean. I get it. But he's really good at his job. True. He brings a lot of energy. Did you see him in the meeting with the colorful tie? Oh, that tie was a statement. A statement of fashion bravery, for sure. He makes our office more lively. Can't deny that. He's like a burst of color. And his stories... Remember the one about the lion? How could I forget? I was on the edge of my seat. He definitely has a way with words. And with people, too. Everyone seems to like him. Yeah, he's a unique character in our office. I'm just glad he's on our team. Me too. He brings a different perspective. Let's see what he does next. It's never boring. That's for sure. Every day is a new surprise. There's nothing else to do today. It's so boring today, isn't it? Yeah, feels like there's nothing else to do. We could watch a movie. We've watched all the good ones already. How about going for a walk? It's raining outside, remember? Right, I forgot. Let's play a board game then. We lost the dice last time. 
That's true. Maybe we could cook something? We need to go grocery shopping first. Looks like we're stuck with nothing to do. We could clean the house. On a lazy day like today, I'll pass. How about looking for a new game? That's an idea. Do you know any? Not really. Let's look one up on the internet. Good plan. It's fun to learn something new. And we have all the time today. Let's make the best out of this lazy day. It seems all right. Have you seen my new bike? Yeah, it looks really cool. Is it fast? Super fast, but I think it makes a weird noise. A weird noise? That's not good. Yeah, like a squeaking sound. Maybe it just needs some oil. I tried that. It seems all right now. That's great. Do you want to go for a ride? Sure, let's go. Wait, where are my keys? Your bike keys? Aren't they in your pocket? Oh no, I can't find them. Maybe they're still in class? Could be. Let me check. Found them. They were under my table. Let's go now before you lose them again. Yeah, race you to the park. You're on, but let's be careful. Always. Riding bikes is so much fun. I agree, and it's good exercise, too. Let's make this a regular thing. Definitely. Bike rides every weekend. Perfect. Let's do it. If you go there, you will find him. Have you seen my brother? He's late for dinner again. No, I haven't. But he's probably at the basketball court. He's always playing basketball. If you go there, you will find him. I guess I will have to go get him. Want me to come with you? Sure, that would be great. Let's go. Hopefully, he's ready to leave. Look, there he is, shooting hoops as usual. Hey, time to go home. Just five more minutes. No, dinner is getting cold. Fine, I'm coming. He's always been like that. Hurry, mom's waiting. Next time, I'll hide your basketball. That's a funny <laughs> idea. Next time, no basketball before dinner. I know, I know. New Year, New Beginnings Can you believe it's almost New Year's Day? I know, time flies. Ready for the new year? Definitely. I'm thinking of starting a new hobby. Oh, what's the hobby? I'm going to learn guitar. What about you? Any resolutions? I might try yoga. I need to relax more. Yoga sounds good. We could both use some relaxation. New year, new us, right? Exactly. Oh, are you still hosting the New Year's party? Yes, but I forgot to buy decorations. We can make some DIY style. That's a fun idea. Let's do it. I'll bring some supplies. We'll have a crafting session. Can't wait. What should our theme be? How about new beginnings? Perfect. It'll represent our new hobbies and goals. I'm excited for this year. It feels different. Me too. It's a fresh start for both of us. We should also plan some trips this year. I love that. Where should we go first? Maybe a beach vacation? Soak up some sun. Sounds amazing. A perfect way to start the new year. 
we'll make it the best year yet. With lots of fun, laughter, and new experiences. Starting with our epic New Year's party. It'll be a night to remember. Happy, Happy New, new year. year. Mary enjoys cooking. Did you hear about Mary's new hobby? No. What is she doing now? Mary enjoys cooking. She's trying new recipes. Really? Last time she cooked, it was a disaster. She's improved a lot. Made a delicious cake yesterday. A cake? Maybe she can bake one for my birthday. I'll ask her. But remember the soup incident. How could I forget? The kitchen was a mess. She's learned since then. No more soup explosions. That's good. Her enthusiasm is funny, though. She once tried to make pasta without water. Oh, no. How did that turn out? Let's just say we ordered pizza instead. Classic Mary. Always full of surprises in the kitchen. She's hosting a dinner next week. Should be interesting. Count me in. I'm curious to see her progress. I'll let her know. Get ready for a culinary adventure. As long as there's no firemen involved. I'll make sure she has a fire extinguisher. And maybe I'll bring some snacks, just in case. Good idea. Mary's cooking is always an adventure. Can't wait to see what she whips up this time. He has quite a few friends. Jake, have you met our new neighbor, Alex? Yeah, I saw him yesterday. He seems nice. He has quite a few friends. They were all at his house. Really? I haven't seen many people around. They were pretty loud. I think they were having a party. Oh, no. I hope it's not every night. Don't worry. It seemed like a one-time thing. Maybe we should invite him over sometime. Good idea. We can meet his friends, too. I hope they're not too loud, though. Let's plan a small dinner. Keep it low-key. What if he brings all of his friends? We'll set a limit. Just a few people. That sounds manageable. I'll get some extra chairs. I'll cook something simple. Maybe spaghetti? Great. And I'll make my famous salad. Famous salad? Since when? Since now. It'll be great. Trust me. If you say so, let's also get some dessert. Good call. Maybe ice cream? Perfect. This dinner is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to meeting Alex and his friends. Me too. It's nice to have new faces around. Let's make a good impression. Definitely. Here's to new friends and neighbors. He looked puzzled. Did you see Kevin's reaction when we surprised him? Yes, he looked puzzled. He didn't expect us at all. I think he thought it was just a regular day. When we yelled <gasps> surprise, he jumped. His face was so funny. He almost dropped his coffee. That would have been a mess. Good thing he didn't. We should have recorded his reaction. Next time for sure. He loved the cake, though. Yeah, he said it was delicious. We should surprise more friends like this. Definitely. It's so much fun. Who's next on the birthday list? I think it's Sarah's birthday next week. Let's plan something special for her. She loves surprises, too. We'll make it even better than today. Let's get planning, then. How about we ask Kevin to join us? Sure. It's going to be another great surprise.
from starting a new fitness routine in January. I'm starting a new fitness routine in January. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, totally. But next year, January. Well, what's inspired this change? I just want to be healthier and maybe impress someone. Ooh, is there someone special? Maybe. Let's just focus on the fitness part. All right, all right, what's your plan? I'm thinking running, maybe some yoga. Yoga? Can you even touch your toes? <gasps> hey, that's why I'm starting in January, to learn. I'll believe it when I see it. Want to join me? It could be fun. Me? Run. That's a good joke. Come on. It'll be good for us. Maybe I'll think about it. So, who's your special someone? Let's just say motivation comes in many forms. Mysterious. Well, good luck with that. Thanks. I'll need it. Especially with the yoga. Just don't hurt yourself. No promises, but I'll try. And I'll be here to say, I told you so. We'll see about that. First step, touching my toes. I'll see you tonight at 8. Are you ready for our movie night? Almost, but I can't find my favorite hoodie. Have you checked your living room? Oh, you're right. Thanks, Jane. No problem. I'll see you tonight at 8. Wait, I just remembered I have to walk my dog first. That's fine. How about 8.30 then? Perfect. I'll bring popcorn. I hope you remember the drinks this time. Of course. I won't forget the soda again. Last time you brought carrot juice instead. Come on, that was healthy. But not great for movie night. Fine, fine. I'll stick to soda and chips. And you, don't lose the remote this time. I still can't believe we watched the news last time. It was an accidental educational night. This time, it's all about comedy. Agreed. Looking forward to it. See you later with all the right stuff. Bye, Sarah. Don't get lost on your way here. I know the way to your couch by heart now. See you soon. Let's make this new year the best one yet. I can't believe it's almost New Year's Eve. Yeah, time flies. We need to plan something special. Let's make this new year the best one yet. Great idea. How about a themed party? Like a costume party? That would be hilarious. Exactly. Everyone in funny hats. And a New Year's resolution competition. The funnier, the better. We could do a countdown. That sounds fun. Should we invite the whole neighborhood? Why not? The more, the merrier. I'll start making invitations right away. I'll handle the decorations and snacks. What if no one likes our party? Impossible. Our parties are always a hit. You're right. It's going to be epic. Imagine everyone's faces at midnight. Full of joy and silly hats. Let's start prepping now. This will be unforgettable. To the best New Year's party ever. She had nothing else to say to him. Did you hear about Sarah and Tom's date last night? No. What happened? Well, Tom tried to impress her by cooking dinner. 
That sounds nice. Was it good? He accidentally set the table on fire. No way. What did Sarah do? She tried to help, but the kitchen was a mess. Oh no, poor Tom. After that, they tried to watch a movie. Let me guess, something else went wrong. The TV wouldn't turn on. Tom was so embarrassed. I can imagine. And Sarah? She had nothing else to say to him. That's awkward. Did the date end there? No, they decided to go out for ice cream. That's a sweet save. Did it go better? Actually, yes. They laughed about the whole night. Good for them. Sometimes a bad start leads to good stories. Exactly. They're going out again this weekend. Love can start in the strangest ways. True. I'm glad they're giving it another chance. Who knows? Maybe they'll laugh about this for years. That's the best kind of love story. New experiences are the best. Have you ever tried sushi before? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's amazing. You should try it. I'm not sure. Raw fish sounds scary. New experiences are the best. Let's go this weekend. Okay, I'll give it a try. Trust me, you'll love it. All right, but you're ordering for me. Deal. Let's meet at the sushi place at 6 p.m. I'm nervous but excited. Look at all these options. Let's start with something simple. What's that? It's called California roll. It's not too fishy. Here goes nothing. Well, how is it? Actually, it's pretty good. Told you. Ready for the next one? Let's do it. Sushi isn't so scary after all. I'm glad you like it. Trying new things with you is fun. We should do this more often. Agreed. What's next on our adventure list? How about rock climbing next weekend? Rock climbing? That sounds intense. Don't worry. It's safe and exciting. Okay, you're on. Another new experience. Awesome. I can't wait. Thanks for pushing me out of my comfort zone. Anytime, Emma. Life's more fun this way. Here's to many more new experiences together. The new year is a perfect time for fresh starts. Do you have any plans for the new year? Of course. The new year is a perfect time for fresh starts. I'm thinking about joining a gym. That's a great idea. I might learn to cook. Cook? You? That'll be interesting. Hey, I can be a good chef, you know. I could start small, like cooking spaghetti. Or running to the fridge and back. Exactly. Small steps lead to big changes. Speaking of changes, maybe I'll dye my hair blue. Blue, that's bold. I'll just stick to cooking. We should make a New Year's resolution list. Good idea. What's your first resolution? To laugh more and worry less. Mine is to not burn the kitchen down. That's a solid goal. Let's add travel more, too. Yes. Maybe a cooking class in Italy. Perfect. Italian food and adventures. 2024 is going to be our year. Full of fun, food, and new experiences. And hopefully, some good spaghetti. I'll be the judge of that. Deal. Happy New Year, Alex. Happy New Year, Sarah. Things aren't always easy.
I tried cooking pasta today, but it turned into soup. Oh no, how did that happen? I think I used too much water. Cooking is tricky. Things aren't always easy. True, I need to practice more. Maybe start with something simpler. Good idea. I'll try making eggs tomorrow. How hard can it be to boil eggs, right? Watch me turn them into rocks. I'm here to help if you need. Thanks. I might need a cooking coach. Don't worry. I won't let you burn the kitchen down. That's reassuring. Maybe I'll stick to salads. Salads are a safe choice. Let's make one now. Can't mess up a salad, right? We'll see about that. Salad making. Here we come. I'll chop the veggies. You make the dressing. How hard can it be to mix oil and vinegar? Famous last words. If we can survive this, we can cook anything. That's the spirit. Look, I made the dressing without a disaster. I'm impressed. Maybe you're a natural chef. Or just lucky this time. Let's eat before our luck runs out. Good plan. Here's to our salad success. To many more cooking adventures. And hopefully fewer disasters. Together, we can conquer the kitchen. One meal at a time. I'm planning to travel more in the new year. I'm planning to travel more in the new year. Really? Where do you want to go? First, I want to visit New York City. Big city. Watch out for the taxis. I also want to see the Statue of Liberty. Take a good camera for that. After New York, maybe a beach in Florida. Don't forget sunscreen. I won't, and I want to try surfing. That's bold, but I'm sure it's fun. Yeah, I'll take lessons first. Good idea. Any other places? Maybe a road trip to California. Wow, that's a long drive. I love road trips. I'll bring lots of snacks. And don't forget a good playlist for the journey. Music is a must, and lots of photos, too. You'll have so many stories to tell. I can't wait. It's going to be an adventure. Safe travels, Sarah. Thanks, Ben. You should come along. Maybe I will. It sounds like fun. We make great travel buddies. I'll think about it. It's a New Year's adventure. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.